Earlier this year, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that he anticipated a Tesla Model 3 standard range production would begin in the middle of this year. A couple of weeks ago, though, Tesla removed all mention of the Model 3 standard range from its website. But now it's back with two different trim options, and Tesla has stayed true to its promise of bringing a $35,000 US dollar car to market. So let's take a little look at what the two models do and do not offer, as well as when you can expect them in your part of the world. To get your standard range Model 3, which by the way keeps true to Tesla's promise of 220 miles per charge with a 130 miles per hour top speed and a 5.6 second 0 to 60 miles per hour, you'll need to ensure that you don't tick a single option box. And that includes the paint finish. Standard for the standard range is a solid black paint job complete with 18 inch aero wheels. Pick a different paint package and you'll be looking at between $1,500 and $2,500 of additional cost. And you'll be looking at $1,500 if you opt for the 19 inch sport wheels instead. Inside, Standard Range Model 3 has been stripped down to the absolutely bare essentials, with manual seat and steering adjustment, cloth seats, and what Tesla is calling base trim. There's standard maps and navigation functionality on the car's touchscreen display as well. Basic audio, rather than the premium audio package of higher-end models, is also standard, along with a tinted glass roof, auto-dimming power-folding heated side mirrors, and a center storage console with four USB ports. Music and media over Bluetooth is standard, as is custom driver profiling. While driver assistance features like emergency braking, collision warning, and blind spot monitoring are standard across the Model 3 range, and thus they are also standard on Model 3 standard, you'll be faced with the usual $3,000 fee for adding autopilot before delivery, $4,000 after purchase, and another $5,000, $7,000 after purchase on top of the autopilot package, for what's used to be called advanced autopilot, but is now called full self-driving capability. Standard Range Plus, meanwhile, adds a little extra range, 240 miles per charge, a 5.3 second 0 to 60 miles per hour, and a top speed of 140 miles per hour. It costs $2,000 more, though, than the Standard Range Model 3, and for that you'll get the same exterior paint and trim choices as the Standard Range version, with the same upgrade prices. But you'll also get a choice of what Tesla calls Partial Premium Interior, Standard, or Black and White Partial Premium Interior, which adds another $1,000 to the price. This Partial Premium Interior, I should note, isn't quite the same as the Full Premium Interior trim option on higher-end Model 3s. That $2,000 extra for the Standard Range plus three if you opt for the black and white interior, adds the 12-way power adjustable heated front seats that most people have come to expect of any Tesla, plus what Tesla calls premium seat material and trim. Everything else about the interior is the same, with the exception of two docking stations for smartphones in the center console in addition to those four USB ports. On the outside of the Standard Range Plus, you'll also get LED fog lamps, something that the Standard Range Model 3 doesn't offer. Other than that, the rest of the Model 3 lineup remains largely untouched. So what do I think? Well, first, it's great to see Tesla meet the Model 3 Standard Range promise ahead of time, and it's certainly going to make a lot of prospective Model 3 owners very happy indeed. However, Model 3 Standard Range is very much a stripped-out version of the highly praised plug-in. I should also note that Tesla's decision to gut the Model 3 interior and go manual adjustment on seat and steering may upset some, but it's a very smart move to ensure that Tesla can still deliver on its promise of a $35,000 affordable EV. I'd much rather Tesla did this and keep its promise than not deliver on the price. Sure, these are features many will expect, but since Tesla also offers the Standard Range Plus for a little more, which has those features, it puts the decision in the hands of the customer. US customers can now order a Model 3 Standard Range or Standard Range Plus with deliveries as early as next month in some parts of the country. Outside of the US, however, there may be a longer wait time. Where does this put the Model 3 Standard Range in the electric car marketplace, however? 
honestly, not far off the competition, although some will note that the 220 miles of Model 3 standard range is a little less than many other plugins of a similar price. However, the entry-level Chevrolet Bolt EV, while offering more range, does not include the same active safety features as Model 3 standard range, nor does it include rapid charging as standard. The closest competitor I think of in terms of price and features is the Hyundai Kona, which, while it goes further per charge, does have a pretty comprehensive list of features for its entry-level price, which is a little more than Model 3 standard range. Honestly though, Tesla has managed to make Model 3 the most affordable long-range electric car out there, offering 220 miles of range and the option to upgrade to a far more advanced operation in the future, for far less than anyone else. To get it though, you will have to do away with some of the things that you might have come to expect from a premium brand. That won't bother some, I don't think it would bother me all that much, but it will upset others. That's it. Thanks for joining me and see you next time.